So today is Monday, May 4th, and tonight is the last uh, Metro Detroit Young Adopt Bible Study Fellowship uh, of the year, and tonight is Share Night, uh, where it's a night where we share either about what we have learned over the course of of the study this year in the books of Acts and the letters of the Apostles as well as share what God taught us this year, what he revealed to us and such um, but due to the uh, circumstances we will have to do it via Zoom and so unfortunately part of what I'm about to say I can't share over Zoom um, so it's then I'm sharing it via video and uh, YouTube. So Bible Study Fellowship, namely the Metro Detroit Young Adult Group, has been a huge, huge part of my life um, for well over 10 years now. Um, it provided me with so many friendships that I treasure so much. It provided me with a sense of young adult Christian community. Um, so it's something that I didn't know I needed until I found it <laughs> um, way back in 2009 when I first joined. And I would go with Stanley every single year um, up until last year when I left to go on the world race. And then I came back this year um, and going into this year, like, I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be my last year. I mean, I am 34, and the group goes up from 18 to 35, so I would have aged out this coming fall I anyways. But also on top of that, God called me to go to seminary. So on top of turning 35 in the fall and, and going to seminary. Um, this was my last year. And of course, like most things, I really didn't expect it to end this way. Um, I had really hoped to tell the group um, what I'm about to say here in person, uh, but since I can't do that, video is the next best thing. And But first, like a little kind of um, story. BSF has been a huge part of my testimony. Um, there was a time in my life that was just dark. Um, but BSF was one of those things that was 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 a light in in my darkness, <coughs> and it was one of the things that kept kept me motivated, kept me going. It, it gave me something to look forward to every single week. It gave me that social interaction with people in my age range that I had been lacking. And I just fell in love with it, fell in love with the group, fell, fell in love with the teacher leaders, um, all my group mates that I've had over the past years. Um, many of them have, have uh, moved on uh, but they all will be for her ever part of my life, a part of my story, a part of my tribe. And so, pets going into 2018, I was only there for a month and then I launched to go on the world uh, race. And of course was gone the whole rest of that year. Came back last fall. Uh, I was really excited because I was really happy to see everyone because I missed every word um, and in special sets in 2018 we had a leadership change from um, from the older couple who had been our leaders for the previous seven years they were having a change of the guard over to three uh, of of the people in the class that 
would take it over to have actually the young adults lead young adults, which was really cool. And then one of them uh, is her son, um, and he and he's a great guy too. But I'll get to all the leaders shortly to tell you more about them. But yeah, BSF, as I said, huge part of my life, um, huge chapter in my life, and it's a chapter that is kind of closing. Um, as far as like, I won't be able to attend class it anymore. But I know the friendships that I made through that class um, and the people I met, I will always carry out with me and hopefully be able to maintain those uh, friendships as time goes on too. Um, or whether I'm back here in Michigan or, or, or across the U.S. or who knows, maybe somewhere in the world serving God. Um, but yeah, so first off, there's a lot of people that I want to shout out and just, um, affirm and give some uh, recognition to because I know they won't say it for themselves. Like, that's just the kind of people they are. They, all these people are like so humble and so, um, others focused and not just themselves. And so, I would like to give them the recognition and the uh, and affirm them, and just kind of tell you a bit about them and how they've impacted me. So, first and foremost, I, I want to give a shout out to all of the people who have been in my groups both this year and eight years uh, present. Um, thank you all for uh, accepting me for who I am and that I am grateful. I love you all as some of her sisters in Christ. Um, and yeah, as I said, mm -hmm. um, you guys are part of my tribe. Um, you are my prayer warriors. I'm a prayer warrior for you guys. Uh, and yeah, I just want to let you all know that I will keep you in my prayers. Thank you. I'm going to miss you. I know I keep in contact with some of you through social media. Uh, so hopefully we will continue to do that. Um, but I just want to give a shout out, shout out to all of you. You guys know who you are. Um, I also want to give a shout out to uh, all those people who have also been my group leaders in, in the past. Um, many of you guys have moved on uh, out of the group to, to bigger, better college paths that God called you on. Uh, but a couple of you are still involved currently with Bible study. So that's awesome. Uh, thank you for your leadership, your wisdom, your teaching, your time, everything. Um, it's been a pleasure learning from you all. And as I said, let's stay in touch. Now the now the third group that that I want to shout out is my group from this year, this past year. Dana, Amanda, Rachel, Anne Marie, Jesse, Amanda, Elizabeth. And of course, Laura, my group leader, thank you for, for this year. I loved our discussions. I loved our group. I loved our crazy stories. I share them and get to hear some of your stories and, um, and, be, and be able to pray for you and get to know you all. Um, hopefully, we can all maybe meet up. Um, this uh, summer, again, in person, um, with this calm down. Uh, but, as I said, thank you for everything. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for uh, accepting me. Um, thank you for 
and listen to me and my stories and my world race references. Um, thank you for being open. Um, thank you for not judging me. Because uh, if I'm honest, coming into this year, I was actually scared to come back to Bible study. Um, just because of my experience and I knew how I changed, uh, my views changed. And so I was kind of worried how my new group, you guys, would accept me as was the leadership of, of, of the group and, um, and everybody else there. But as it turned out, I didn't need to worry because um, when I came back and started talking to everyone, it just felt like I had never left. Like, I was not gone for a year. I feel like you guys took me right back in. I was a part of the group, the community again. And it just made me feel really good. And so, thank you again. I cannot stress that enough. Thank you for being my sisters of Christ. I will continue to pray for you guys. And hopefully we will stay in touch, see each other, and fellowship events uh, outside of B BSF um, and yeah so yeah that's my group from uh, this past year now along with that I met you Laura now Laura she was my group leader she's actually been my group leader the past two years um, and and again a heartfelt thank you to you, Laura, for not only being a group leader in general, but being my group leader for two years. Um, thank you for keeping up with me on my journey. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for following up, checking in every week, every month. You went above and beyond by doing with that. You really didn't have to, but it just shows just what a amazing heart you have, gracious heart, leadership, servant heart, all that. Uh, you are an awesome leader and I'm glad that I got to be in your group for two years technically even though I was only in your group for a month last year uh, before I left but thank you. You are awesome. Just Keep on, keep on pulling away at everything, and know that you, like everywhere else, will always hold a special place in my heart, as well as one of my friends, one of my sisters in Christ. And I just wish you all the best and the happiness in your upcoming marriage. And yeah. Thank you. And then to the admin team, Rachel C and Karen, and to my uh, assistant treasurer, Rebecca, thank you for teaching me. Thank you for putting up with me and my lack of financial knowledge and how to fill out and deal with money. Um, it was definitely a learning experience. Thank you for entrusting me with that duty. Um, thank you to the rest of the leadership team, John, Alex, Danielle, for praying about who to take over the treasury job and for asking me because it was a real honor to be asked. And I just am so humbled that you thought of me to take over the role um, for giving me another lean shit job that was really special and it really meant a lot. Um, and yeah, I don't know who would take over next year, but I'm sure uh, that you guys will find a worthy replacement for me. Um, yeah, just 
Thank you for your leadership, your wisdom, your service. Um, thank you for your friendships. Because um, I've known all of you for a few years. Um, and yeah. Uh, again, like I've said before, I will be praying. I will be praying for you guys. And um, you guys will always be my brothers and sisters in Christ. And 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 part of my tribe forever, both on this earth and the next. And now, um, and now I also want to. Shout out to everybody that's in this past year's class. Um, whether or not we've taught or not, know that I've seen you, I I've heard you. Uh, I'm grateful for all the interactions that we've had, um, all the f um, f types of fellowships, whether it be bolded or trivia nights or movie nights or um, game nights um, or English country dancing, going, going way back to those times that we did. Um, just know that whether or not we've have spoken, know that all of you as well, all part of my tribe, and that, and that our relationships, I will be grateful for your acquaintances, your friendships, uh, just everything I have loved, learned from every one of you, talking to you, just hanging out, being cool, um, all the competitiveness I love, um, and especially with trivia and volleyball and bowling, uh, so many memories. Um, I. I would love to shout you, each of you out individually, uh, but there's just too many of you. But you guys know who you are, and thank you again. I guess that's that's the theme theme of this video. Thank you. Um, I have another really quick shout out to one special person in. Bible study, um, and that's Emily Quit. Again, thank you, Emily. I've loved being have you as a group mate a few years ago. Um, and if it worked, worked for you, I would have never known it about the world race. And if I didn't know about the world race, then it's something that the spirit would not have put on on my heart a few years later after you went on your journey and if I did go on it then who knows where I would be today. Probably still working my job at Target and going crazy but it's then I'm on a path that God has called me on going to seminary and for that credit not only I give credit to God and the Spirit for that, but also I give credit to the world race for that, but also I give the credit to you because had you not talked about going beyond the world race, again, I would have never known about it and I would never be changed from the person I was to, to the person I am today. And because of that, the word race and you are forever part of my story, my testimony as to how God has changed me and helped me become a better Christian. So for that, thank you. I am forever in your debt for that. And I have loved getting to know you over the years and build a friendship with you and call your sister Christ and um, a fellow Wood Race uh, alumni. So, Emily, thank you.
And now, finally, last but not least, I want to talk about the three incredible over, overall teacher leaders of the Metro Detroit Young Adult Group. John, Alex, and da Danielle. Those, those three are three, three of the most incredible, wise, servant-hearted, God-centered people I have ever met. Their leadership, their, their, their wisdom, their preparation, their will to get it up in front of the class and give us a lecture every Monday night is just amazing. The hard work they put in, the dedication they put into it, to it all, it is just incredible. And I've known these three for many years. John and Alex, I've known it for at least seven years, if not maybe a year or two more. I always like to know the exact year that we all, I met both of them. Um, but they have been incredible brothers of Christ. And and even just doing the outside fun things with them, fellowship, stuff that uh, we've done as a group. So many memories um, with Bible study. And there's really not a memory I don't have that somehow does involve them as well. Um, and Danielle too, I can't forget her but I will talk about her shortly. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, I, there's just so much I could say about them and their heart and their, and their passion, just all three of them in general, their heart, their passion, their leadership, wisdom. I know I've said all that, but yeah. Again, you guys are part of my tribe. You are my brothers in Christ. And I just want to thank, thank you too as well for everything you put to um, the class and your service to us. Because I know that's n not easy to do. And then Finally, there goes the tornado slides. Awesome. Um, practice. Anyways. Yeah. And so, last but not least, certainly not least, I want to take a couple moments here to talk about the third member of our head teaching leaders and the only girl amongst the guys. And that is Danielle. I don't even know where to even begin with her because she, she is just one awesome, incredible individual. Um, she would actually probably blush when she hears all this. Um, but I've known her since 2015 uh, when we met Bowling, uh, bowling and I hop out in uh, as a one of our Bible study fellowship fellowship out in gatherings, and from that time on, I knew that our friendship was going to be special uh, because. God does not place people in my life without a reason or a purpose. And that's how I feel with not only everybody that I've come to contact with in BSF, but how I feel about my friendship with Danielle. Um, 
didn't know that just was exactly that friendship would grow over, over time. Um, but Danielle, like John and Alex, rose up the ranks of Bible study fellowship from member to group leader to overall teacher leader. And I had the honor and the privilege to have Danielle as my group leader back in 2017. And that year turned out to be a very pivotal year for me. It was the year that my life started to change. And that was like the beginning of my Christian re rebirth. And Danielle was the spark that lit that re rebirth in me with one simple question. And that was had I got to church that morning, back when she was one of my group leaders that year. And it's amazing how the Spirit uses a person as a vessel to reach others who may need to be pushed in uh, the right direction. And at the time, that person was me. And so, as a result of that, Danielle is also one of the major players in my testimony. Because if it weren't for being in her group that year, having her as my leader, having her ask me that question that one night, then it would not have led to so many blessings. From April of 2017, until May of 2020 and beyond. Um, I am so grateful for the, the um, friendship that she has given me, the encouragement that she has given me. Um, she is one of the most legit people I know when it comes to, Christi to being a Christian. And I love how just humble she is about it all, and how she f focuses that towards God and gives all the glory to Him, and in all that she does. And I also love her passion, like when when she teaches us, you, you can hear that passion in her voice as she's given the lesson, read a scripture, pray it, give it the principles, whatever. And that same thing just comes through, even when she's not lecturing, just talking one on one with her, talking with her in groups, um, seeing her lead us. Uh, she, she's real the whole way around. And that is something that is like real to find, someone who is genuine, who is real when it comes to their faith. And that's her. She's passionate about her faith. She's humble about her faith. She is so servant-hearted. And I know she will be the first to say that all of it comes from God. And that is really so something that I've, I've learned from her in my friendship with her. Is that Give God the glory first, because if everything we have comes from Him, and I mean, she's also wise beyond her years. She's fun. Um, I've enjoyed the game nights with her, uh, play the volleyball. She's actually helped me work for my serve in in the volleyball, which with those volleyball skills. I took with me on at the world, world race because I played volleyball quite a few times uh, with the locals. So definitely things that she has taught me outside of the Bible has come in handy in, in real life too. Um, but yeah, she is also such a prayer warrior. Like 
you ask her to pray for you, she will, and she will even back out with scripture, give you scripture. Um, when she gives the lecture, she just has a sense of presence up there that's like commanded, but not intimidated. And it's, it's what she speaks to, you can hear, hear the words have a sense of passion to them, um, a calm sense of passion about it. And it's just, uh, I cannot describe it. It's just incredible. Um, and it's been really awesome to see her grow too over the five years that I've known her just see her grow, grow, grow in her faith, grow as a Christian, grow at, as a son and sister of Christ. Um, and so my friendship with her is something that I will cherish, I will carry, uh, because she is definitely one of the more special friendships that I've had with people. And that's a lot, because I'm the type of person where, like, if I connect with you, then you are special to me. And it's like, that friendship will be forever. And it's not just her, it's really everybody in BSF that I have this friendship with. Um on some kind of level. Um, but yeah. I'm just... Danielle, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your humility. Um, keep on sharing your story, everyone that I mentioned about, keep on sharing your story, share your testimony. Uh, people need to hear it. And who knows, it may encourage people and bring them back to Christ or bring them new, new to Christ. Because um, that was like one of the things that I, I loved hearing while I was on the world race. And it's something that I've tried to bring back home is I want to hear people's stories, hear their testimony. Um, and it could also be the historian in me too, but yeah. So yeah, again, 